Rashi, great movement. Now Rashi. Rashi! Ooh, how about that? Open up two United packs if I get them. Because I only have what? Yeah, I only have really like three goals at this guy. So hopefully we get Rashi in the first rip, lads. And then we can just go and try and get somebody else. Yes, there we go. It is Rashi. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in there, baby boys. Boom. There we go, lads. That's what we wanted. We wanted a fresh start. And we do get him in our second spin, baby. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we are back with a Rashford training guide, breakdown, player review. And we're just taking a detailed look at him. Because I think he's probably one of the best big time players that they have released. And I think that a few people are struggling how to get the best out of him. So we're going to be showing you how I train him up. My version of him. You'll see a couple of clips along the way as well. It's taken me a while to edit this one. But this guy tore it up in Barcelona at the eFootball Pro Championship as well. So we did get him in a pack. It was, I think, our second 10-pack spin with Anthony and Rashford. And look, the thing I will say, right, about Rashford is you need to play him in the position that he's suited to, which is, you know, as a goal poacher. And once you get the ball at your feet, if you're not one touch passing it away or you're not taking on your opponent, you need to be shooting. So he does take about 70,000 XP for level training and his progression points to be maxed out at 60 progression points, as you see there. But once you have him there, we have three different versions of him, right? So we're going to have your traditional kind of center forward that is more about shooting, finishing, um... And positioning then we're going to have our winger type Rashford and then we're going to have our all-rounder the one that I usually use as my kind of Romario-esque striker that's how I train all my strikers right so we are going to take a look here and then I will show you the version of it one thing I will say I've seen a lot of people question when I say you know you don't need to train up the passing of center forwards if you're playing them in a run and gun or you're playing them in a very direct way and this is proof of that in just a couple of quick clips you've got that assist with, Rash with Rashford there you've got the lovely peel away pass there that looked unbelievable and then you'll see here again in a second just with the last clip as you see you will see the little one two and the recycles and that's all you really need from a center forward look little touch lovely pace on the ball and it's boom in the back of the net so for the first version of Rashford, if you're using him as a target man, right, we're going to max out his shooting at 14, we're going to put 7 into dribbling just for the tight possession to be up as high as we can, and then dexterity and lower body strength just have a 90 speed, 92 acceleration, and a 90 finishing finisher. That's all we're going to really be using here for Rashford, right? The next one that we're going to be using is going to be a winger, right? So this is going to be a left or right-sided winger. If you like playing with the likes of Son or Mbappe on the wing, I personally don't. I like you know tricky kind of wingers with good skills you are going to miss out on his play style here of the goal poacher right if you are playing him as a left winger you're not going to get the best out of him on the wing but you still have 90 dribble and 97 acceleration and 85 balance which is insane and you've also got 80 finishing which is very very decent now i haven't stuck any additional skills on him yet which you know brings this card into the next level but this is the version of him that i have gone for so it's a 95 overall rated center forward we're going to be playing him as my second to romario or else interchanging him with romario or else playing him and romario up front together you know because romario is my favorite striker in the game but rashford is fast becoming an absolute unit for me as well so we've got 10 into shooting 10 into dribbling 10 into dexterity and then we have the rest into lower body strength that gives us 97 acceleration but more importantly it gives us 84 awareness for a goal poacher and it gives us 85 balance which he's you know he is very strong we still have 86 finishing which is quite decent and our 87 speed is a little bit overkill but i do like the fact that i'm going to be running a lot with rashford so i don't want his stamina lower than 77 now when we actually train him up in game here this is just my version of him that you just saw on the screen a second ago on eFootballDB.com. You're going to see a couple of differences with this card than maybe how other people have trained him, right? The 97 acceleration is definitely overkill. But as I always say, lads, I'm not worried about the acceleration too much because, you know, there's no real difference between 90 acceleration and 95 or 95 and 97. So, you know, you can do that and tweak it as much as you want. But it's all about just having that rapid, quick fire kind of movements from Rashford. And that is kind of controlled sometimes by the balance when you're up against, a, you know, a player. Um shoulder to shoulder and it also is with the acceleration when you're trying to you know get away from the ball which you'll see in a couple of instances here like you're just going to see here with Rashford 
I'm pretty much shooting on sight. That's kind of what he's, his role is here. But he's also able to, you know, be good in the air. He's able to knock it on. He is just a bit of a nuisance in the ball, with the ball at his feet or wherever. Like, look at him for reactions there. That's just insane reactions from him in the little six-yard box. And boom, and it kind of settles the tie for us. And that's what he's good at, is just kind of being a goal poacher and getting, you know, really good chances. Here we get another chance here on the break. He doesn't have any passing skills, but look, it's a little touch and go. Creates a little triangle with Neymar. He cuts back. He doesn't rush into the box. He's waiting just to kind of get it deep a little bit outside of the six yard box and then at the end when we do a little bit of trickery here with Messi lovely dribbling but watch Rashford's movement in the box he's going in and out of the six yard box creating def defensive gaps between the, the defenders and the strikers and then the ball eventually comes in it's not him that gets on the end of it it's Haaland and it is offside but it's a great chance and that's why the AI are kind of like focused on the goal poacher that's kind of how you confuse them if you don't give the ball when you need to give it and recycle it they make great chances and this is what he's all about as a goal poacher that's where you need the acceleration and the offensive awareness the higher the offensive awareness the better runs they'll do into the box like that from an offensive position and yeah look i've been really enjoying rashford leds i definitely think he's one of my favorite players that i've used so let me know what you guys think of him i would recommend him if he could i know that there's only a day left or a couple of hours left by the time this video goes up but it has taken me ages to collect this uh you know kind of review of him so let me know what you think and i'll see you in the stream thursday peace